next is uh, <coughs> estimating ratios now sometimes uh, it can happen that the parameter of interest is the ratio of two quantities so for example <coughs> you have the ratio of monthly saving by the monthly income so this is the target variable and this one is the auxiliary variable so how do we calculate the So how do we calculate the, the ratio? Ratio is just going to be y by x, which is going to be, you know, um, i is equal to 1 up to n, with capital N in that case, because we're talking about population, yi 1 to n xi. So the population total of variable y and population total of variable x so estimator which is going to be r hat is going to be y bar upon x bar which is or it's just going to be y or x instead of y bar we don't need y bar because y bar is an average but average will give you the same number the n gets cancelled out so this is just uh, i is equal to 1 to small n y i and i is equal to 1 to small n x i so r hat is uh, based on r but uh, is biased the r hat it turns out is is biased for r but for large sample we can ignore the bias so we can say the mean square error of r hat which is the same as the variance of r hat so the bias is goes away because mean square error mean square error is equal to the variance plus bias square so that is why it is the same as variance so which has a formula so mean square error of r hat is similar to the variance of r hat which is given by a formula 1 upon 1 minus f n x bar square i is equal to 1 all the way to n y i minus r x i square divided by n minus 1 where f is going to be n upon r and r is equal to y hat upon x hat calculating these becomes pain in the butt but this is the formula for it now uh, if the sample size is large then we can use the estimated uh, standard error uh, we don't know uh, x bar so we just replace it with the small s uh, but other than that we can just uh, use the uh, then it will become 1 minus f upon under root n x bar which is the uh, standard error so standard error is just going to be the under root of it standard error of the uh, r, r hat is going to be this and then this whole thing also gets in the under root and then you do this and then you do um, uh, the y i minus uh, r hat x i or x i upon n minus 1 
Yeah, that's why the odd hat comes here. It's on n minus one. An odd hat is, and if we if we know x hat x bar, then we put the x bar. If we don't, then we replace it with x bar. So y i minus r hat times x i, and the summation of it gives you the standard error of uh, ratio. Now, if if the if the target variable target variable y is correlated with auxiliary variable x and the population total x is known, we can estimate population total x. If we can estimate the population mean y bar as y bar hat is equal to r hat x bar because r hat is just this divided by this so we can estimate this and the population total y population total y will be r hat x where r hat is y bar upon x bar and these are called the ratio estimators these are called the ratio estimators of the ratio estimators of y and y hat the ratio estimators are effective that is more precise in situations where due to correlation between yi and xi values the ratio yi and xi vary less than values of target variable yi themselves. So because x and y are correlated, the ratio yi and xi will vary less than the values of the target variable yi themselves and then the the ratio estimators are more are more precise in those situations